Hello everyone. Today we will learn about how to grow good roses in our garden. Rose growing is very easy if you follow certain steps. First step is uh, know about your rootstock and variety performing well in your area. We are using two types of rootstock in our country. First one is Rosa multiflora and second one is Rosa indica. Rosa indica rootstock is performing well in soil media and it is not performing uh, well in soilless media like cinder or cocoa peat. If your rose is budded in Rosa indica then you have to pot uh, your roses in soil media and uh, if uh, your rose is budded in Rosa multiflora then you can grow it in soil as well as soilless media like uh, cocoa peat and cinder. Choosing a right variety is also important uh, as per uh, local condition in your area and sunlight availability. Uh, if sunlight availability is full, then you can grow all type of roses, hybrid tea roses, floribunda roses or climber roses. Every type of roses you can grow. If sunlight availability is less than 6 hours, then you have to choose uh, floribunda roses. If uh, still sunlight is uh, less than uh, 4 hour then you have to go to miniature uh, roses. Second important uh, thing is that uh, soil composition. Soil composition should be well drained as well as uh, nutrition rich. On the screen I have uh, given uh, soil composition. Uh, uh, you can tweak it as per uh, available soil in uh, your area. The well drained soil uh, encourage uh, mass flow in root zone which uh, propels the vigorous growth of uh, your plant. Third important thing is uh, you have to uh, provide uh, mycorrhiza fungi in root zone. This, this fungi will establish a symbiotic relationship with the plant and it uh, gives phosphorus to plant in exchange of sugar. As you know mobility of phosphorus is uh, very slow in soil and it is normally replaced by some other available ions uh, in soil media. So it is hard to get by nutrient for plant. Uh, so for better root growth and phosphorus availability, this fungi is very essential. Fourth uh, ingredient is most important in my opinion, the seaweed, humic and fulvic acid. Seaweed contains every uh, element uh, required for the plant nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, micronutrients, plant growth regulator, vitamins, etc. And uh, this humic acid and fulvic acid is also important for uh, root growth and uh, carbon availability. These three ingredients are very powerful and naturally available and it is purely organic and this humic acid contain about 20 to 25 percent organic carbon which is very essential for uh, microbial activities in root zone and conversion of uh, this uh, ammonium to nitrate nitrogen. Fifth uh, important uh, thing is how to fertilize your roses. I say you have to maintain the NPK ratio of 3 1 2 in your roses. 
and uh, uh, this uh, nitrogen source you have to choose combination of ammonium and nitrate both as plant absorb uh, both ammonium and nitrate form and uh, it is uh, very essential to maintain a certain ratio of uh, these two ingredient normally in hot season 10 percent ammonium and 90 percent nitrate is recommended and for cold season that ammonium content should be about 30 percent so that uh, we have to maintain because in hot summer that ammonium absorption is very less or negligible the sixth uh, important activity is uh, watering and souring that watering is uh, very important in rose growing uh, we have to maintain the moisture in root zone all the time so in soil media that uh, either you have to mulch uh, so that uh, evaporation loss is less and uh, keep the soil all the time moist because that feeder root is uh, in top soil and uh, if it is dried then a plant won't uh, get any nutrition uh, from the soil and in cinder media you have to water at least twice a day in summer days and in winter once a day and uh, that souring is very important uh, to clean the dirt and uh, this mite problem uh, in our plant and uh, rose like souring in uh, sunny days and hot days so in the morning uh, that uh, souring should be performed in rose plant use of uh, insecticide and uh, fungicide is essential to protect your uh, roses from thieves mites and uh, any fungal disease that option is available uh, in the both form either you can control it organically or use any chemical uh, to control it so option is yours uh, choose uh, wisely i can say this is an additional important tip uh, if your uh, rose is in soil and uh, it is potted then you have to pot up your rose once or twice a year or if uh, pot up is not possible then uh, remove the top soil and replace it with uh, fresh soil this will fix the problem of uh, this uh, phosphorus fixation in soil and any uh, this uh, fertilizer overburden uh, that can be also solved and uh, if uh, ph is out of range that is will be also fixed so it is very important activity we know that uh, some of the roses are naturally planted in ground where it is not possible to uh, change the uh, soil so for that uh, normally people do that after five six seven years they have changed the location of that plant so to avoid uh, this uh, rose sickness disease that rose sickness disease is mainly fixation of phosphorus in soil which is not available to plant so that healthy growth is restricted to solve this problem we have to introduce phosphorus solubilizing bacteria 
in those roses as well as this uh, potassium mobilizing solution or bacteria we have to introduce and, uh, and this uh, phosphorus fixation can be also solved by using phosphoric acid solution uh, of pH 5 you have to drench every uh, one or two month uh, phosphoric acid solution with pH 5 in root zone to break uh, this uh, phosphorus fixation in soil so that phosphorus can be available to plant for better growth and this will also avoid uh, this rose sickness disease and also reduce burden to shift the roses from one place to another. That's all friends for today. Thank you.